negative, let's say negative 1, and I put in a number like r equals minus 100, minus 100 cubed is still less than minus 1, and it would be in this set, which would still be fine. Yeah, I think, I think it works fine. Yeah, so need a bigger than 0. So let me, let me preface this. So you're checking all the, the boundary cases here, which is good. Um, uh, if n is even, how's that? Then that would be a true statement. All right, thanks. Lots of great comments. OK, good. So let's talk about um, the counterpart to, to the supremum. We have a name for this. So if we have a least upper bound. There's also the concept of the greatest lower bound. GLB. It also has a name. So if you give me a set um, uh, and I take its greatest lower bound, we, we give that a name. If it exists, we use the term infimum instead of supremum, okay? And we write inf, I-N-F, instead of sup, okay, inf A. So greatest lower bound of a set A, we'll write the inf of A, okay? Now, uh, on your homework, you'll show some properties about this. So for instance, on your homework, you'll show, in fact, that the infimum of a set, if it exists, is minus the supremum of uh, the set where you negate everything. Okay, So this will be in your homework. This symbol will be defined as, take the negative of everything that's in A. Okay. The infimum may not exist, but it will exist, of course, if the set is bounded below, okay? Uh, if uh, the set, uh, if a set is bounded below. So now this is not true in Q, but it's true in R. So it's basically the, the corresponding property. Instead of the least upper bound property, R also satisfies the greatest lower bound property for the same reason. And you can guess what the greatest lower bound property is. It just says if it's sets bounded below, it has a least, a greatest lower bound. Okay. Yes. From now on, you can think of the real numbers as R, as, as the real numbers you're used to thinking of. Okay, Unless, of course, it says to think about this in terms of cuts, like one of your homework assignments asks you to think about cuts. Okay. I mean, this particular definition of real numbers as cuts, I mean, it's just one possible way to construct the real numbers. Later on, we'll see there's another way to, to, to construct real numbers in terms of uh, Cauchy sequences, but we haven't talked about what a sequence is yet. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So uh, I, I, I hope at least you've begun to see that this concept of supremum, the least upper bound, it's a hugely important concept. It's what makes the real numbers different from just the rationals. It allows, as you'll see, uh, to come, the idea of a limit, okay, which is fundamental to calculus, okay? And so this property um, uh, plays a, a huge role, and so I do want to uh, talk about properties of supremum. But we're going to 